Hi and welcome Libra, Rose Burnett here, Mind, Body, Soul Balance. This is your May 2021 tarot forecast. Now it is a general reading, so it's trust yourself what resonates, leave what does not. If you're brand new to my channel, big welcome. Awesome to have you here. If you like what you see, make sure to hit the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to make sure my videos come through to you in your feed. Now I am doing a bit of a giveaway. So those of you that are brand new to my channel and subscribe this month, as well as those of you that want to join the VIP members area for the extended version of this reading in the mid month, I'm giving away to one of you uh, the Enchanted Map Oracle. Yeah, deck, gorgeous deck. Um, one of my favorites, I've got to say. Uh, so beautiful messages in that one. So. If you want to get into that little giveaway, make sure to hit the subscribe button if you're brand new. And uh, also if you want to join the extended and you're new this month in the extended area, you'll go into that drawer too and I'll select somebody random and announce it at the end of the month. Now, you can also stay connected with me on Instagram, do a lot of daily motivation, inspiration over there. So come and say hi. And for those of you that regularly follow me, support my channel, you're rocking awesome. Love your heaps. Uh, now there is a, in terms of getting the extended, Let's go into that. Um, we're going into predictions right now. The extended goes really deep, a lot deeper. They're about 35 to 40 minutes long. Uh, deeply transformational, inspirational, motivational, help you move out of stuck states. Uh, we look at balance in your life. Uh, in terms of the monthly, we're going to go into love. So we're having a look at your energy, what's coming towards you, what your soulmate's thinking, going through, feeling, as well as the energy between the two of you, what's going on there. Uh, whether it's someone you're connected to, someone you're thinking about, as well as your general energies and high guidance from spirit. So it's $5.99 a month. You get the extended versions of the monthly reading as well as my mid-month, so both, yeah. Um, and all you need to do is hit the join button on my channel or the very first link in the description box below to get instant access to those. Uh, the other news, there's also a special running at the moment for the month of May. You can get $10 off a personal reading with me. All the details are down below. The coupon code I'll pop up, pop up on here. You need to grab that to get your $10 off, yeah? All right, let's get started, Libra. So we're going to jump straight into predictions with the Angel Wisdom Tarot. And let's see what you need to know. You've got the eight of air, which is a feeling of being stuck, um, a bit of an illusionary state. So it's about taking the blinkers off, taking the blindfold off, yeah, and just seeing that it's things that you're saying to yourself that are holding you stuck. Uh, possibly a lack of confidence, afraid to take action. Because mm, you've got the five of water, yeah, and he's got his back turned to the cups. He's just looking at what's in front of him that's been spilt, um, things running away from him, uh, focusing on the negative, not seeing the positive in situations, the opportunities around you available to you. Mm, you're the hermit, which is a time of self-discovery, going within, having that quiet time for self. Very much help you explore the next steps on your path. What do you truly want? And you've got the magician, which means spirit's telling you, Libra, that you've got everything within you to create whatever it is you want to create. Um, it's very much about taking action, but getting clear about what it is you want. And you've got the eight of earth. So it can represent possibly wanting to go back and study something new or to enhance your existing skill set, doing the hard work, putting the hard work in to create this abundance, this coin behind them, yeah? What else does Libra need to know? Thank you. Hmm. You've got the seven of water sitting directly under the feeling a little bit trapped, yeah, stuck. It's all about choices. There's a decision you need to make. It's about stop procrastinating. Um, whenever we have choices, there's never any wrong or right decision. It's very much about what feels more heart-centered in the moment. And you're only going to tell afterwards whether it was the wrong or right path to take, yeah? Mm-hmm. And 
and you've got the Knight of Water, which is a passionate love offer rushing in. His cup's overflowing. He's spilling a bit in his enthusiasm. Mm-hmm. And you've also got the Two of Fire, which is partnering up with other people to follow your goals and dreams, create new business opportunities versus doing it on your own. Something you may not have thought about. And you've got the one of air, which is your brilliant ideas. Um, Spirit's saying that there's, there's a lot of success that can come from those ideas, but they might need refinement. You might need to um, wait for perfect timing. There's a little butterfly on his shoulder representing brand new beginnings. It's sitting under the magician. So Spirit's saying you've got what it takes within you to take action on those goals and dreams. Just might need a bit more polishing before you start or put them out there. Mm, wow. You've also got the four of water. Again, he's got an angel behind him holding up a cup and he's uh, looking at his empty cup. So it can represent a state of lack. Failing to see opportunities around you, feeling stuck, feeling a little bit hopeless, yeah? So some of you are in a little bit of a funk right now, Tara, say. All right, let's put some guidance with the Muse Tarot. What is it Libra needs to know right now? Oh, you've got the Six of Inspiration, which is such beautiful energy. Let me bring it closer. She's got a star on her head. So it represents stepping into the spotlight. It represents your ideas, everything you're working on. Going to lead you to your success and your prosperity. Not being afraid to step into the light to show off your gifts, your talents, to embrace them. And you've got the nine of materials. So it's very much about self-made success, celebrating your successes. It represents abundance coming in, fruition of projects. A lot of hard work gone into it. It feels like some of you are not seeing the results. You doubt yourself. You're focusing on the negative. Might have been something that happened that didn't go your way. Because mm. you got the five of emotions, feeling like you've been stabbed in the shoulder mm -hmm. with an ice pick or an icicle, which is not great. It can represent grief, loss, um, certainly a, a life event that you've gone through that's created some sadness yeah, within self. And you've got the Knight of Emotions. Again, a horse rushing in. It represents new love rushing in. So some of you have absolutely got something new rushing in towards you in terms of a love offer. You can also, the Knight of Emotions means some of you putting yourself out there for love, getting flirty, getting excited by new love opportunities. And you've got the Queen of Voices. She's very strong. She's very confident. She speaks the truth. Um, when you speak your truth, you help others on their path. No matter how difficult it may be, um, sometimes people need to hear the truth versus any BS going on. You cut through all that BS in terms of your leadership qualities, um, very much authentic and real. Uh, I just want to put you some guidance here on focusing on the negative. You've got the night of voices. So Spirit's just saying to act with integrity, accordance to your values, what has meaning to you. can also mean don't let the actions of others affect how you show up in the world. Uh, super interesting. You've also got the star card. So the star as well as the six of inspiration, which is all about stardom. The star card is very much about a renewed sense of hope and optimism. Mm-hmm. So that energy is available for you to tap into, Libra. All right, let's put some angel healing messages. Mm, you've got mindfulness. Be mindful of another's feelings and needs. Someone needs your love right now. A loving thought is all it takes. So some of you are very focused on 
career, things not moving as fast as you want. And there's this passionate love offer and spirit saying, look up, make sure you give enough time to your love relationships as well. Oh, you've also got peace. No matter where you are or what you're doing, inner peace is always possible. All it takes is a subtle shift in awareness. Think love and peace will follow. Which is, you know, we all go through challenges in life. It's about being able to bring ourselves back into balance, yeah. You've also got Archangel Michael. The path is now clear. I have removed all obstacles in your way. You can move forward now with ease and confidence. You will achieve what your heart desires. So previously your path may have been blocked and Spirit's saying that energy is going to clear. You're going to have a clear path forward. There'll be nothing stopping you apart from what you're saying to yourself. All right, let's put some guidance from the beautiful Divine Circus Oracle. Mm. You've pulled Princess Victorious, number six, which can represent love and abundance. <laughs> so funny. She's got a finger upright and, and um, to her lips and <laughs> printed on it is loser. Mm -hmm. Let's pull you up the guidance. It says Libra, you've been asked to be a big picture person for the moment. Sometimes immediate gratification has to give way for a grander scheme unfolding, which will ultimately lead you to a far greater, more meaningful success. What seems to be a delay, an obstacle, loss or even failure now is a twist in the plot of your life, necessary for your gracious destiny to unfold according to a higher plan. Oh, no wonder you pulled this card can be hard to keep the faith when you've been defeated just one too many times. It is easy to make fear and doubt mean something. They don't. It's usually something like being doomed to fail so that we might as well give up. However, fear and doubt are just symptoms of fatigue. They are signs that we're feeling battle weary when it comes to life. To overcome weariness and create happiness, you've been asked to temporarily surrender your need to win just for now. Instead, you're guided to step back, to regroup, to replenish, to be kind to yourself and to know this. Sometimes you have to be willing to lose the battle to win the war. And this means being willing to go through things in the short term that might seem like a failure without losing confidence, courage and trust that everything's going to go your way in the long term. So this oracle encourages you to know that you are strong and determined enough to bounce back and overcome any difficult circumstances. You will be given the power to succeed at the right time and in the best way for all concerned. For now, any apparent delay, failure, loss or change, of course, is really a saving grace. In time, with a broader perspective, you'll look back and be grateful for not getting what you thought you wanted. In a way, you thought you wanted it because what will come to you eventually will be so superior in every way. So give in to how your journey is unfolding, even if it seems like you're losing rather than winning. But don't give up hope. Trust the universe is strategic and it's helping you to succeed. It knows that the things that don't work out now can help you move towards the things that will work for you in the long term. And if you need a sign to know that things are going to work out for the best, even if it seems like they're falling apart along the way, then this is it. And there's a healing ritual here. I think it'd be super useful for you to do it, yeah? It says start by standing up and say aloud. So you can stand up and I'll uh, share this message with you, yeah? It says any perceived failures cease to have power over me. I release all judgment, fear and doubt about my future success. Victory will be mine. Victory will be mine. Victory will be mine. I cut the cords to anything other than my soul's success. Now you're going to pretend to be a karate expert and you're going to karate chop through any invisible cord of connection. Those invisible cords might be unintentionally connecting you to past memories, fears about the future and people who don't believe in themselves and therefore find it hard to believe in anyone else. Those connections can drain your energy and make it harder for you to believe in your own inevitable and ultimate success. You don't need that anymore. Using swift cutting motions with the sides of your hands like a knife, sweep down in front of your body, behind you and all around you. And um, once you have karate chopped enough, 
Say this three times. The universe leads me to victory now. In the perfect time and in the perfect way, I am victorious, I am victorious, I am victorious. There's an affirmation here. It says, victory is mine in the perfect time. Divine victory is mine. So very much obstacles being cleared from your path, not giving up hope. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It is all coming towards you. Part of a greater plan happening in your life. So some of you have definitely been through some challenging times and spirits saying things are opening up for you not to lose the faith. So Libra, those are your messages for those of you watching the free reading. If you liked it, make sure to hit the subscribe button, the like button. Uh, if you want to get the extended version, we're going into that next. Hit the join button or the very first link in the description box below. We're going to be going into love next, which is very much, as I mentioned, about your energy, your soulmate partner's energy, what they're thinking, what they're going through, um, the energy between the two of you, whether you're in a relationship, someone you're thinking about, someone coming towards you. We're going to dive deep into your general energies. Um, there's certainly a focus here in terms of there's some energy to be cleared, yeah? So we'll go right into how to clear your energy right now from negative into positive. There is this beautiful love offer rushing in that you cannot ignore. It's going to be pounding on your door. Mm -hmm. um, I think this beautiful... Moving into this energy of the star, yeah, um, it represents the star to me, but it's the six of inspiration. Stepping into the spotlight, believing in yourself, your, your, your um, talents, your gifts, using those. And um, it's super interesting that there's also this opportunity to partner up with people. So we'll see what comes out about that um, as well as anything else that wants to come through. So VIP members as well as those going into the extended hang around. We're going into love next. Those of you leaving us right now, it's been awesome to have you here. Make sure to come back again. All right, let's continue. All right, Libra, in terms of love, we're going to pull you a message from the beautiful Lovers Oracle. And let's see what you need to know. Gonna say they're a little hard to shuffle. They're um, they're heart shaped. This is beautiful. It's a little piece of yeah. It says you may not understand always why certain things happen. However, there's always a higher purpose to the events in your life. Through turmoil, a blessing will soon be revealed. Wow, isn't that super interesting? Very congruent message coming through. So some of you, in terms of love, have had a disappointment, yeah. All right, let's put some guidance from the Romance Angel Oracle. So we're going to put your energy on this side. You're going to put your soulmate energy on this side, this person you're thinking about, the energy between the two of you in the middle. So first up, let's have a look at your energy. You got the message to clearly decide what it is that you want so that it comes to you soon. Some of you may be a little bit confused about what that is, maybe not quite ready to open that door. It's very much about putting the vibes out there to what you want to attract, who you want to attract. All right, let's have a look at your soulmate's energy. Wow, confirmation you've got a soulmate here. Yes, this is your soulmate. Um, whoever you're thinking about or whoever's rushing towards you, all right, let's have a look at your energy. Mm, you got the message to get your flirt on. Uh, extend your lighthearted energy to others. Put yourself out there in the dating scene. Some of you definitely speaking to new love. Uh, all right, let's have a look at your soulmate's energy. All right, this wants to come out. Okay. You've got deception. Someone's wearing a false mask in this relationship. Super interesting. We'll see what else comes out as to why that's there. Can just be hiding feelings. Okay. Now you got separation here. Yeah, so part time part from your partners on the horizon. I'm gonna say to you, some of you are separated from someone, and spirit's also saying to put yourself out there for new love. 
it can mean that the person that you're thinking of, um, we'll see what else comes out, can be a past relationship and there was deception that went on. Let's have a look at their energy. Mm, you got the message to keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectation. So that's on their side. So you may be somebody quite different. Whoever's rushing in towards you may be someone quite different to who you usually date or who they usually date. Let's have a look at your energy. Mm, you got the message just to be present. Enjoy the moment. Don't recycle through the past. Don't put too many expectations on things. Go with the flow. Let's have a look at your soulmate's energy. Mm, they got the message to pay attention to the red flags, the signs of cautioning you, sitting directly under deception. So I'm going to give you a message that's channeling through, is that some of you are looking or you've got somebody that's interested in you that's brand new. You're still holding feelings for the past love who's not yet shown up here, I've got to say. Mm -hmm. mm, and you got the message to go ahead and express your love. Make that romantic gesture. I guess the question is to whom? All right, let's have a look at their energy. Mm, they got the message to lean on their friendships, go out with their friends. Let's have a look at your energy. Mm, you're the message. This could be the one. This is the person that you're looking for. I've got to say to you, I think you're going to be surprised that it's new love. Mm -hmm. Let's have a look at their energy. Okay, they've got some forgiving and learning to do. So whoever you're connecting with, I'm going to give you another message. Um, whoever you're connecting with, they may have gone through a situation where there was deception in their previous relationship, yeah? Mm hmm because they've got some forgiving and learning to do all right let's have a look at the energy between the two of you take whatever resonates with you in the messages um you've got let go of control allow the situation to unfold naturally it comes along with being present yeah and to love yourself first yeah gonna make you more romantically attractive that can relate to both of you um mm-hmm we always attract to us a mirror image of what's going on with us, yeah? Mm, you've also got reconciliation here. Someone from your past is returning to your life. Any other guidance there? There's two here. Mm. You've got stay optimistic about your love life. That positivity is going to draw romance to you. So some of you are absolutely single and you're calling in a soulmate. Both of you are calling in a soulmate. There's still some remnants from the past going on here. Um, let's put you some guidance on your side. What is it Libra needs to know right now about love? Mm. Spirit's saying it's up to you. What do you want, Libra? And there's an unlikely here. So... If you're separated from someone, I'm going to say to you, it's probably an unlikely. Mm, but you need to get more information to find that out, yeah? Uh, let's have a look at this soulmate's energy, which I've got to be honest with you, feels like new love. It really does. Mm. Spirit's saying there needs to be compromise and balance. Um, I think previously they may have been in a connection where there wasn't compromise and balance. Uh, they've also got the message that meditation may bring you the answer you seek. So they may be still getting, trying to get clarity about who they want in their life. Mm, and the angels are helping with this connection. Super interesting. Let's see what's going on between you. Mm, definitely romance coming in. Romance available to you. There's an opportunity coming in. Could be yours, could be theirs. In terms of um, improvement in finances, abundance, career, and again, the message to stay positive. So what do we get out of that? Some of you have definitely left a relationship or they've left you. Um, you still haven't released some feelings around that, still focused on it. Someone may get back in touch with you, 
but really do you want it have they changed um it's up to you spirit saying there is a love relationship coming towards you absolutely they're a soulmate but they've also got some healing to do so you both have healing to do right mm -hmm. but the angels are helping with the connection all right let's put you some soulmate messages It says this is a favorable time for matters of the heart, a time of inspiration and healing, a relationship blossoms, your heartfelt aspirations now manifest lovingly into reality. Absolutely so relevant for your reading. Mm -hmm. You've also got from a physical perspective, some relationships may seem less than perfect, yet from a higher perspective, all relationships are sacred for they help us grow in love and wisdom. So certainly some lessons to be learned about self. And uh, love generates love. You will receive positive confirmation of this in the next few days. Keep on loving and you will be keep on receiving ever greater blessings in return. So certainly someone's going to reach out to you. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah, for sure. All right. Next up, Libra, we're going to do your general energies. And let's pull your essential energy from the uh, Journey of the Soul Oracle. Oh, wow. I have to be honest with you. I don't think this card, and I've had this deck for quite some time, has ever come out. You've pulled the cloak. Often when we receive the cloak, it's about divine protection around us. Let's have a look. It says Libra. Around you is a cloak of your own creation. Perhaps it served you for a time as an invisible form of protection, a way to claim needed solitude, as a way to retreat inside to find out what you truly feel, what you truly need to find yourself after being lost in an ocean of thought and emotion. Not always your own. Yet the time is fast approaching when you will no longer require the cloak. You have attained an integration within a knowledge of self that makes it possible for you to connect with the world, with others, in a way that does not leave you lost and struggling to find yourself. You've learned how to hold yourself. You have learned how to do this well enough that you can successfully hold yourself and hold another too. You don't have to push the world away. You can invite it in and play. The message that this oracle brings to you is that you can safely release all forms of security that you once held. You do not have to abandon your boundaries with others. Rather, your boundaries are so functional that you can enter into relationships with more openness, trusting that your boundary will naturally assert itself when necessary, giving you the connection to yourself that you need when you need it without having to withdraw from relationship entirely. It is time to trust your own boundaries and practice letting them help you whilst actively engaging in deeper relationship, you'll have some fun. So what does that mean? It means that you've put boundaries around to protect yourself, which can certainly be necessary at times, yeah. But it's preventing you from letting others in, into your heart space, allowing new love in. Mm -hmm. It's a very brief poem here, it says, loneliness is like a ship in full sail with no wind and no place to go. Oh, it's kind of heart rendering, I've got to say. Wow. Mm hmm. All right. In terms of your general energies, we're going to have a look at four key areas of focus with the Sacred Destiny Oracle and then pull lots of clarifiers. You've got a gateway opening up. Um, dare I say gateway to happiness, fulfillment, your goals, your dreams. What else does Libra need to know? Can you guide us, please? Okay. Uh, you've got a voyage going on. I'm going to say to you it's a soulmate voyage. Um, definitely. Definitely the next chapter in terms of love. I mean, a voyage can also represent the fact there's a mother whale and a baby whale. It can represent the birth of a child. It can represent the birth of a new project, business idea. Mm 
can represent travel, journeying. You've also got security, which is divine protection over you at this time. Ancestors watching over you. Ancient cave art there. You've also got embracing, which is this beautiful egret in the stillness. Getting out in nature, appreciating the beauty of the world, the wonder of the world. Connecting to Mother Earth. Just add that up with some crystals. All right, let's pull you some clarifiers with the Energy Oracle. First up, having a look at this gateway. Mm, okay. Got a contract offer coming in, some coming towards you. Um, can absolutely be a brand new career opportunity, something you've been waiting on. If your path's been blocked, this settlement, whatever's coming towards you, can be a divorce settlement coming in. Something in the legal system coming in can certainly be sale of an asset. You've also got lots of doors that want to open for you, lots of opportunities available to you. So it feels like we're in, you were blocked before, stuck before, the doors are going to open. You've got your crown chakra here. So Spirit's saying to get into your higher states of consciousness, out of your lower chakras, connecting with your angels, your spirit guides, trusting the signs, synchronicity, symbols, advice coming your way. Again, you've got the message to have patience. There's a divine plan unfolding in your life right now. Mm -hmm. It's going to require a lot of patience, Libra. Let's have a look at this voyage. Oh, wow. You got cornucopia coming. Success on every level. You're not doing it on your own though. You've got a beautiful love partner that's going to do it with you. Mm -hmm. Yep, brand new beginnings, number 11. You got your third eye chakra here, which is trusting your intuition to guide you. So much here, sitting directly under your crown chakra, about getting into your higher states of consciousness. Mm, there's a bit of a storm warning going on. You're very impatient because it's sitting right under patience. Let's have a look at security, which is protection. Mm. You got man holding a heart here. Definitely a love interest. Mm -hmm. Boom, boom. Sitting right under the voyage card. I mean, he's right here too, rushing in with his love offer. Mm, the spirit's saying you absolutely need to create balance in your life. I'm going to say to you mostly mental and emotional balance is what's going on. Overthinking things, worrying about things, emotions out of balance, yeah. It's directly related to your cornucopia if you want cornucopia. you got your root chakra here, which is a focus on your basic sense of security, stability. The spirit's saying they're watching over you in terms of that aspect. You got yin and yang, number 22, take a leap of faith, letting go of the old, being in balance, it's coming into a place of wholeness, knowing when to take action, when to rest, receive. Two messages about coming into balance and you've got the sun coming out, beautiful shift in positivity, optimism. Mm -hmm. Let's have a look at this storm warning. Okay. You got deceit coming out again. Came out your love reading on the soulmate side, right? Uh huh. Any other guidance there? Hmm. You got the thinking woman. So spirit saying being very balanced, grounded. Particularly a message for the girls. Um, you're going to have victory over the past. If there's been deceit in the past. You're going to come out on top, yeah? Mm-hmm. All right, let's have a look at embracing. I've got to say, yeah, whether you're a guy or a girl, if you've gone through that, um, I've been there myself, darlings, and it's, it's one of the hardest things to go through in terms of your heart chakra, 
in terms of your emotions, um, which is why all the boundaries go up, not letting people in, trying to make sure you make right choices for yourself, being overly protective of self. Spirit's saying there's some beautiful blessings coming your way in terms of love, money, abundance, prosperity. All right, in terms of embracing, which is taking some quiet time out for self, getting out in nature, your vitality's here. It's going to boost your vitality, taking that time out for self. Mm. And you got your heart chakra here. So it's going to light your heart chakra up, bring this beautiful sense of um, balance within your heart chakra. Because mm. you've got envy here, a little bit of lack going on. Mm. Spirit's saying you need to take some time for rest, rejuvenation. And you've got your sacral chakra here. So you've got all your lower chakras. Um... The only chakra you haven't got here is your throat chakra. You've definitely got your solar plexus. You've got your sacral chakra. You've got your root chakra. You've got your intuition. You've got your crown chakra. Mm hmm Oh, yeah. Yep. So it definitely speaks to some <laughs> chakra balancing that needs to happen. All right, let's have a look at this envy. Hmm. Right, and you're holding yourself back a little bit from life, worrying about things not turning out. And you've got the temple path and spirit saying, there's so many beautiful orbs of light, they're absolutely watching over you. All right, let's put some guidance with the goddess guidance deck. Having a look at this gateway opening up for you, doors opening up for you, contract coming in, having patience. You got Vesta, your home life's improving. So some of you are selling a home, buying a home, relocating. The funds are coming in for you to buy a home, yeah? And you've got a sure blossoming abundance. Spirit's saying you're just getting started. Don't give up. Keep moving forward. Let's have a look at this beautiful voyage going on, no doubt, with a soulmate, or it can be something you're creating. Your cornucopia coming in, having a victory over the past. Trust in yourself. You've got maybe of cycles and rhythms, really honouring your emotions, your energy levels, taking care of self, taking time out when you need to, despite the demands of everyone else around you. You've got Lakshmi, bright future, stop worrying, everything's going to be fine. Spirit's watching over you. Let's have a look at this divine protection, this man holding his heart in his hands. Mm -hmm. Big focus on balance, your finances. You've got Damara guiding children, so your children may need extra support at this time. You've also got Kunya and compassion, releasing harsh judgments about self, about others, which is about applying forgiveness to things so you can let them go, being very kind and gentle with yourself. Your children may need a bit, lots of compassion at this time, particularly if you've gone through a separation. Um, again, you've got quiet time. Yeah, taking quiet time for self. All right, let's have a look at embracing life, the wonder of nature. Got all your lower chakras here. You've also got your heart chakra. Taking some time for rest. Uh, you've got bass, your independence is an integral part of who you are. Never apologize for it. It's a key strength of yours, particularly if that comes up for you in relationships. You've also got white Tara sensitivity, yeah? Emotionally sensitive, just watch that. <laughs> Particularly negative people, negative situations, lunar cycles. And you got your Aphrodite energy, Guile Girl, appreciating yourself, your own divinity, doing things that light you up, fun, adventure. Go and dance and you can dance in your living room. All right, let's put you some guidance from the crystal reading deck. Have a look at this top row about gateway opening the doors opening focus on your home possibly a settlement coming in um, you got hematite grounding so you need to ground your energy to mother earth do your spiritual practices your yoga anything that grounds your energy mm, definitely some heart healing that needs to happen going on right now mm, another confirmation is absolutely a soulmate here for you 
Definitely a new soulmate. Mm -hmm. Let's have a look at this voyage, your bright future, your cornucopia coming in, victory over the past. You've got the Herkimer Diamond Dreams. Don't give up on your dreams. Believe in your dreams. You may get messages in your dream state. And definitely got the shadow side of self that you need to face. For some of you, it's just about releasing the hurt from the past, doing the heart healing, allowing yourself to drop the protective layers around yourself to let new love in. Emotions, dealing with your emotions. All right, let's have a look at this divine protection over you. Got this love interest here. You've got your children here. Taking some quiet time out for self. Being in balance. You've got aquamarine communication. So definitely another message that there's some positive news coming towards you from a love interest. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Also very important how you communicate with others. Standing up for yourself but also listening to others. And spirit saying you're headed towards success. Success in love. Um, for some of you, it's going to be a better relationship with your children. Okay, let's have a look at the other side over here. We've got a lot of chakras going off. Mm -hmm. Spending some quiet time with self. Appreciating yourself. Mm, you've got cold pipe rites of passage absolutely coming into your own. Into your personal power, your strength. Um, Spruce saying music could be deeply soothing and healing for you. Sound therapy, guided meditations, playing music. Uh, and you've also got divine temple source. So doing your spiritual practices, connecting into spirit, particularly in nature. Asking for guidance, asking for help. They're going to send it to you. All right, let's put some guidance with the uh, messenger oracle. Okay, this flew out. You've got wash away your burdens, your emotions, releasing them, stress, worry. Yeah. And you've got here the ancient ones. Your ancestors, your spirit guides are going to be sending you signs, synchronicities, number sequences, animal spirit guides crossing your path to let you know they're with you, supporting you right now. And you've got need and necessity, which is what you actually need, particularly financially, versus what you want. You, again, you've got the yin and yang symbol here, yeah. Um, trusting your intuition. She's got an eagle wrapped around her head, which represents our highest animal spirit guide. It can represent victory, the energy to push through challenges when you feel like you don't have it, getting into your highest states of consciousness um being very present what do you actually need to get through your day-to-day -day living in terms of your finances versus putting a whole lot of pressure on yourself about materialistic things yeah mm. and do not fear the unknown do not fear changes happening in your life new beginnings in your life all right let's put your crowning energy from the uh Beautiful Earth Warrior Oracle, gorgeous deck by Lana Fairchild. Mm. You've pulled a bull of medicine, which is basically um, healing from the grandmothers, remedies from the grandmothers, ancient, ancient healing remedies. Yeah, let's pull you up the guidance. says Libra. Believe in the formidable power of healing of the transformation it can provide for aspects of your being and your life. Medicine comes in many forms from great spirit to facilitate the healing of the body, the mind and soul. Whether it's the correction of unhelpful habits of thought, guidance for the practical steps to resolve a physical imbalance or deep soul healing that frees you into fulfillment of your divine potential. There is no limit to what can be healed through grace and a current of divine healing is flowing to you and through you now open yourself up to participate in a beautiful healing transformation and uh, confirmation that you're on a healing journey put your trust in the divine genius of great spirit and the medicine of the earth through which divine healing can express itself 
Allow your spiritual connection to guide your earthly steps with synchronicity and divine intervention. You'll be supported for a healing journey that will be very profound for you. And this oracle indicates a healing outcome that will enhance your soul journey. Your soul has healing gifts and you're meant to participate fully in the exploration of healing that's of interest to you. You're meant to understand how it is that you are a healer in your own unique way, whether professionally or in how you are as a person in the world, more generally as part of your life journey. And uh, your spiritual guidance asks you, have you been the warrior carrying on regardless of a deep wound that makes your life and work in this world more difficult? Whether the wound is of mind or body, there's guidance that it's now time to allow for healing. Through a healing journey, you can become free to proceed more easily, effectively and joyfully in your life's work. And grandmother medicine typically refers to the use of plants to promote healing of the mind and body. And this oracle also speaks of a broader interpretation. It indicates a time when earthly steps on your healing journey will be supported and guided by spirit for truly inspiring results. Heaven and earth are intersecting and when this happens, the practice of various types of physical world medicine can become a channel for divine blessing. And this divine integration of heaven and earth will transform the way you see and experience the physical world. It will provide you with a feeling of harmony between the celestial and the earthly, a sense of the masculine and feminine energies working together for the same purpose. You will no longer feel divided within yourself pulled in competing directions or conflicted about key aspects of your life and belief systems. This is healing and all things coming together in the right order, working r with rather than against each other for loving higher purpose. What does that mean? It means you're coming into this beautiful state of wholeness and balance. Yeah, You might have been imbalanced before this healing journey is going to bring you into balance if you allow it to. And the commencement of this healing journey, whether you're a healer or the patient or both, demands a period of purification, a cleansing that will support the release of toxins of your body, your mind and soul, so that true vitality, well-being and divine beauty can manifest unimpeded. And the basis of all true healing is a shift in consciousness so powerful that it alters not only the mind, but eventually the soul and physiology as well. And if one attempts to shift consciousness without adequate preparation, the process can be destabilizing, generating unnecessary disorder and confusion. And even if there's a temporary sense of heightened awareness at first, without adequate preparation, the experience will not be able to be integrated and may result in feeling worse rather than better without any long-term change. Yet you are called at a soul level to enter a healing journey. So how can you avoid the pitfalls and be open to the blessings? So what does that mean? I've got to say, sometimes when we do, particularly natural therapies and all kinds of things, sound therapy is one of them, right? Is that it can trigger stuff that's been so deeply pushed down within you that when it comes up, it can be so confronting that you can just feel so worse, right, for a while. But it's just... You're purging and releasing, yeah? And it's that necessary process. Um, but you've got to be very careful that it doesn't put you off trying it, right? Because it's a, a thing to do over time. And the more you do it, your chakra's clear. You release old stuff you've been holding on to. You have a lot of learnings that go on, a lot of aha moments. Um, and it can lead to wholeness, but it can be a little rough. Mm-hmm. It says becoming ready for the medicine also means becoming ready for the cure. This is based on approaching the power of earth with due respect. It's not about trying to force an outcome that you wish. It's about cleansing and opening the self to the gift of what is given from Mother Earth and Great Spirit. It is not about controlling the healing flow, but be readying yourself for it to be received. It means surrendering attachment and resting and cleansing the body and mind through practices that work for you so that you're open to the certain change that healing will bring. It means practicing unconditional trust because divine timing may sometimes express kindness through delays. It means gently but surely dislodging your belief in the fixed reality of your own experience, even if an issue has been present for decades, so that you are loose and limber, ready to be reformed, recreated through the healing genius of heaven and earth in intelligent creative relationship 
expressing their unconditional love for you. Mm, wow, deep healing going on, Libra. There's a healing process here, yeah? It says connect with nature in person if possible or by looking at images and listening to nature sounds if appropriate. You could also just imagine it, yeah? Imagine, feel, or intend you're relaxing not only in your body and mind, but your soul too, relaxing and opening to the presence of the natural world. Allow yourself to feel held by this loving sacred energy. This is the soul of the Earth Mother. When you're ready, say this following invocation aloud if possible. Just listen, yeah. The divine healing presence is now created through the loving union of Earth Mother and Great Spirit. I surrender into the medicinal alchemy of divine love at work within all facets of my being now so that any and all issues of my body, my mind and soul can benefit from divine healing and are now blessed for recovery. Through grace of divine timing and compassion of Grandmother Healer, I ask to be shown clear steps for my healing benefit that I may experience true healing and become a channel for such true healing in the world. So be it. Rest. You've completed your healing process. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. You might want to kind of experiment with a few things in terms of healing and releasing those deep-rooted things, particularly, I mean, you've got all your chakras here, just about. Mostly your heart chakra, your sacral chakra, your root chakra needs attention, but also your vitality. So, you know, we're all in connection in terms of your chakra balance. One affects the rest. When the lower chakras are out of balance, it affects your ability to tap into your higher chakras, yeah? Mm -hmm. All right, my darlings, those are your messages. It was quite long, but some beautiful, amazing guidance came through. Love to hear your feedback, your comments. Hit that like button if you enjoyed it. So blessed you're in the VIP members area. You totally rock. Reach out for a personal reading if you feel like you need some extra guidance and support. Grab that coupon code. It's on here and down below. And for now, much love, much light. Namaste.